Here I have a Verilite controller, and if you pair this with Schlage Deadbolt locks, you cannot use other devices as repeaters because the signal between this here controller and your Schlage locks is encrypted. Uh, so if your locks are far away from the controller, you're kind of in trouble. So what I'm going to do is extend the, the range that this Vera controller can reach. Um, so you can see in the back here, I've removed the batteries, and there's going to be two little screws here, right? So I'm going to loosen the screws uh, first, and then we're going to pop the cover off. Okay, so I'm not really doing anything here because I'm right-handed and I'm an idiot with my left hand. I'm just kind of showing you to fill up some space of the video that I'm removing screws. Time to click pause again. So now I have the screws out of the bottom. Um, yeah, you can see there's no screw in there. So we got to remove the little, or loosen the plastic flaps. So you can see there's one right there. I did it when I wasn't holding the camera. All right. Paulo Orlando just hit his first major league run for the Kansas City Royals. Woohoo! Anyway, um, so we're going to take a flathead screwdriver around and pry these little flaps up. I'll see if I can prop the camera while I do the rest of these. So now we've got it in two pieces and we can see the inside of our Vera controller here. So what's going on here is this is our antenna right here. Um, it's internal. So what I did is I purchased, this is actually two pieces here. I went on eBay and I bought the parts on there for really cheap what we're going to do to extend this. So part number one that I bought here is a mini PCI UFL IPX to RP SMA female antenna Wi-Fi pigtail cable. Paid $1.75 for it with $1.90 shipping. So pretty cheap. And here it is. And as you can see, I'm going to connect this end down here. Then I'm going to drill a hole through here for this guy. And then additionally, I purchased this 900 megahertz antenna. You may have one from an old router or I don't know, phone or something like that, but you got to make sure it's not 2.4 gigahertz. Um, as I said, mine's 900 megahertz. I also bought that on eBay, and it was pretty cheap. Not as cheap as the uh, other part, but I paid 9.26 for it with free shipping. All right, I'm going to put you on pause here while I simply disconnect this guy by jiggling it around, and uh, that's all I'm going to do right now. Okay, sorry for that. Um, I just wiggled this around and it pops right off of here. So my next goal is we're not going to use this guy anymore. So I'm going to drill a hole through here uh, just with a regular drill and then we're going to plug this guy in there. So I'll see if this video can... Okay, please don't crack on me. All good. Got a nice hole there. Now we find out if I picked the right drill bit or not. Probably not, because I never seemed to on the first try. Now, I'm gonna go a little bigger. I'm not gonna make you watch that. You only want the drill hole to be as big as this piece. Not this piece. Um, measure twice, drill once, right? I sh should have done that to begin with. Whatever. Okay, I'm sure I'm going to get it on the comments thread for that, but I drilled a second hole. I'm just going to put some tape over the first one. Um, my own fault. You can make fun of me. I deserve it. But I drilled a second hole in the bottom. Proper size, and we screwed our guy in here. So then all that's left to do is put our new, uh, new antenna in there. Well, that's not entirely true. But. So I'm screwing on my 900 megahertz antenna.
and then I need to simply attach this guy to the connector. So let's see if I'm capable of doing that left-handed. Apparently not. Okay, I can't do two things at once. Alright, so we've got my antenna here. I just put a little piece of tape over the backside of my stupid drill hole. Um, there you go. See it from the inside. And I also tape down my old controller in case I want to revert to it, or my old antenna in case I want to revert to it. Uh, but now all there is to do the screws, so you want to make sure that this guy's lined up still, because uh, your screws are going to come through here and hold your circuit board in place. So I'll just snap this guy back on. Again, I can only do it with one hand, or two hands, because I'm kind of a fool. So, anyway, hope that helps you out. Notice this is probably going to void your warranty, because you have a big gaping hole on the side of your Verilite now. But, hope someone finds me, so this...